Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Hey guys, and welcome to Unofficial, Unofficial Sisters. Sisters It's your host, Little B And Samantha And welcome to <laughs> We for sure are And today we're actually chilling on the bed to record I know The odd experience <laughs> Usually we're in different spots and yeah but it's all good today i'm being lazy and i'm like i don't want to set up the whole thing we're just gonna sit on the bed <laughs> i'm me i got my coffee my health, my manager the boss whatever you want to call yourself we're good to go it is early at least for me anyways for me this is probably like a normal day or whatever but for me this is early i don't usually get up until 10 30 11 it's nine. 57. Yeah, no, we're getting close to normal time for me, but. Especially for us to record. Oh. Ah, it's too early for you to think it's normal about it, right? Yeah. And I almost forgot that I was doing it early in the morning. So I was like, come on, we'll wake up. I'm like, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Yeah, we're podcast. Oh, yeah. I'm doing that early today. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're so early because I have other things. I have, I have work tonight. Uh, but. Yeah. Welcome to. <laughs> The podcast, guys, where we talk about absolutely nothing in particular, yet everything at all. Right, we talk about nothing and everything all at once. And, uh, yeah, so how's your week been? It's been a week. I can say that. I feel that. Oh, so that's the best way to say last week. It was a week for sure. It was what it was. Yeah. Were you busy? I mean, be a mom. You're always kind of busy and... Yeah. It seems like we're a mom of three kids, and only two of them are technically kids. <laughs> mm. But the oldest one that I'd say called kids, not my kid, acts worse than the other two combined. So, yeah. That's what husbands get to be with your kid. Nice to know. <laughs> well, maybe not all husbands, <laughs> but, you know, mine did. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, guys. Like last week, it was a week. <laughs> We're in midterms now in college, so yeah. Test, test, test. Yeah, I think really in a few weeks, anyways, we're gonna be having our main final test. So why are we doing midterms? Yeah, that is kind of silly. Like you're preparing us for a test. <laughs> you're preparing us to take a test to take another test. Yes. Um, I'm like, great. <laughs> Makes no sense. We love that. Um, so, and I had, I finally registered for gradu- graduation, finally. You finally had to work for you? Yeah. I think it was because it was, it was we have been going under for a associate's bachelor, and so I was typing in AAS, which is just plain associates, and he was like, no, 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 you want AAB. I'm like, oh. And then my name popped up back up, and I'm like, oh. Oh, there I am. So we got me registered, so finally, so May, today, a year, a year from today, I'll graduate. Whoop, whoop. That's crazy. And of course, you guys are all invited to the graduation. Sweet. I can reserve how many seats I want. Of course, we have some time, but I know I'm inviting my aunt, of course, my mom, and um, you guys. Anyone else wants to come? That'd be awesome. Yeah. They asked me, are you even coming to the ceremony? And I'm like, if you say no, then why do you even go to college? This is like the proud moment. <laughs> Yeah, the ceremony was said, hey, good job, you did it. Yeah, I mean, I get that like, the pandemic could, you know, turn on us again. And... Nope, it's not coming back. It's going away and staying away. I want to have that happen, but, you know. I'm saying it. It's happening. But, you know, uh, only the universe will send that well. I know. The point would have happened if that was the case. <laughs> well, I never told him to stop before. So. I think I made it happen, I swear. My karma was not good. Because my mom had talked about for, I don't know how many years we talked about, what would happen if literally 2020 happened? If we were in a situation where we had to stay home and nothing else was open, what would, how, how would we all respond to it? Well, yeah. Look at that. That's how we all responded. And I'm like, I didn't really mean that to come true. Well, you speak and the Lord hears. And, well, apparently now we all know. People just still toilet paper. <laughs> That's people's first reaction. Not food. Or the toilet paper. It's not like it, it wasn't like it was food or like canned goods. It was <laughs> like if I know their necessities. Like I get bottled water, canned tuna, like food items that like like bunkering down. But toilet, toilet paper? paper? Yeah. I'm sorry. 
Um, there's other things you can do. Yeah. Some people are trying to make cloth toilet paper, I think. So it's reusable, so you can just, you just throw it like, in a bin and you wash your toilet paper after you're done. That would be kind of weird. To me, eco-friendly. It would be eco-friendly, but... Could you imagine a, a, a bin just full of, like... That's just wrong. Whatever. <laughs> That's like, you know, kids who used to wear cloth diapers throw it over the bin and wash it many times, too. So I, guess. I can't imagine that being fun to, like, even even to wash, I can't imagine it being very fun to handle or carry around yeah, over time. I, I wouldn't think it would be. Especially, like, when you're in public. Maybe then they don't use the cloth. They just, just go with the disposable because they're not at home. Yeah, and, like... I understand being eco friendly. I mean, I do all I can to use metal straws and to to be kind of more consciously aware. But like, uh, the public, <laughs> uh, gross when you're out with other people. Yeah, like not in that in your diaper bag. No thanks. So, yeah, and I also last week was just kind of like preparing for the summer. And preparing for my first date with my boyfriend. It's kind of funny, you guys haven't had the first date yet, but you've been together for a while. But you know, it's all good. Yeah, we've had a lot of internet dates. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we've, had, like, we've had our first internet date, you know, but like, you know, the first not quarantined vaccinated Sit down date. together at an actual meal together. Yeah. And date. yeah. I know what you mean. Because it's like when we're both vaccinated and like you know the world can, you know, let us live, <laughs> then we can do that. But I was just saying yesterday to my family, it's not fair. Now if you go get vaccinated, you get rewarded for it. One us went and got it done early, get rewarded. They get rewarded for it. They're giving money now for people to go get vaccinated. That's bribery. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Either do it because you're a good person, or just go away. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, for young people, you can get $50 each shot a year or something. I was like, why didn't I get the... I went and got the shots. <laughs> but you didn't have anything against the shots. For the first no, part. I didn't. I have a weakened immune system. I was going to get what the medical program mm-hmm. didn't. But... I always think about that, too. I was talking to some of my other friends about it. Because, like, we all get the scare. Like, we can't imagine how people must have felt when, like, the first original shots came out. For, for old things back in the day, when the flu came to be. Yeah, pandemic, or the yeah. swine flu, or. Or, you know, even like when they had like the bubonic plague. I, mean, I was just thinking of bubonic plague. And then, there's not like a cure for it that I'm aware of, but like, I wonder how they ever moved on. They got, they got used to having a shot there, like, didn't have those, like. Oh or like God. polio. Yeah. yeah, and like, I get like, they had been like, terrified when shots for that came out. I'm sure they were. Of like a zombie apocalypse. When or... shots first came out, your people were like, why would I have to stick with the needle? Hurt me. Yeah. Make so like, I get the, the, the scare, but you gotta remember guys, like, look at history. We've done this a bazillion times. Yep. It's unfortunate it's happened in our decade. We just need to stand together, like they say. United we stand. It just sucks that it happened in our decade. <laughs> yeah. Could have waited another couple of decades to happen. You know, anything can happen, so... This is preparing them for something else, too. We're always preparing for what could happen next. Not that I want to think about that at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, uh-oh. But. <laughs> Wait, what do you know? <laughs> I know nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh, you in boots, but oh my goodness. <laughs> what is in that coffee? <laughs> Your mom gave it to me. going to have to ask her. Well, okay. Well, I think we're good. I don't think we have anything in this house. Because they would drug me first. <laughs> you were under they the spell already. <laughs> tested me a little bit. Yeah. Um but No, we were discussing your mom said she would never hurt me or my child or her child, so we're good. <laughs> that's what they always say. Well duh, they don't want you to that's know what, they're gonna hurt you. That's our famous last words. <laughs> I'd never do anything to hurt you. If I'm this poison little apple. <sighs> they won't tell you to poison her. But that's awesome. You can poison them and they wouldn't even know it. It's like <laughs> It's not, it sucks, but also, like, that's awesome. We can create death that's, like, painless, essentially. Tasteless, kind of painless. Ugh. But the idea of it's gross. Yes, it is. Wow. Nine minutes in, we've gone from how weak was to poison. <laughs> to how horrible things could be. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> we're in the jump. We're in great moods today. <laughs> um, I got some exciting news. Alrighty. I got bad news and good news. I got a mixture of both. Okay, do the bad news first, because then the good news will bring back up. So you remember that old teacher I had in the dark rooms who screwed me over? Uh huh. I had her again next quarter mm. for the same class. I'm sorry. They, the dean, my advisor, her teacher, and myself had all come together and talked. And um, the dean believes me. The dean believes me because this is like her fifth write up. So this is not first news. And this has happened one too many times for this to be a coincidence. Uh huh. The first two times, okay, maybe students are messing up. Five students later? Yeah, I don't think so. Something's going on. Something is being, someone's lying. So they can't prove if it's the student's lying or if it's the listener lying. And yes, I'm giving her a name. I'm not going to say last names, but, you know, there's a Melissa out there that's not a nice one. Um, she seems nice because she'll smile and she has this vibe that is so wonderful. But it just seems like she's a good teacher. But when it comes to controlling her students and making sure that it's all taken care of. She doesn't check it, that box off. No, it just it feels like she wants them to, su- to succeed. But when a student says, hey, someone's stealing photos. She acts as if it, I said, hey, happy birthday. It's like, yeah. where's the response? Where are you protecting your kids and your students? My kid, my students. And- you know, making sure that those who do the work actually, you know, get the credit. So the dean said that I am required to retake the class because I have to have proof so that I understand. Even though I could do all the tests I want, I could do the test. I could show that I know the work. I could do like a whole like, like course where I go in, I take I do a picture and I prove to the teacher the dean that I know the, the photos and she takes me out of the class. But I already agreed that I just do the full class all over again. You know the skill that it, I mean how cool to say I can do it and have like a, a you know degree saying that I can do this work and I will never use this skill. Never know. Yeah, it's very true. The world could anything could come. Digital world could fall to pieces and having the ability to make photos. Exactly. Right. Through film would be great. Yeah, it'd be good school to have. So I agreed I'd retake the class, but my dean, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this. I don't know what, what you can and can't say about deans and all that. But my dean and my advisor both told me that if anything starts to get fishy, record everything and take photos of my own photos. So they go messing, we have proof I get photos. Well, that's kind of interesting. My advisor, I love this man so much. I want to ask him to be my photographer at my wedding. Uh-huh. And uh, he like put the bat for me, and whoo, I've never seen a man so mad. He, because he knows my work, because you know he knows I've never dropped below A's and B's. I've yeah. never. He knows you do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. So for this to come up, it's like, I know this is a huge assault, but he, there's no proof. Yeah, it's, it's hard, hard to do when you don't have something back there. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking four four, four classes this quarter. And I've I've Eric twice. They're very small classes. I get to take art though. I get to learn how to draw. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I'm so close to being done. Cause like next, other than like in winter, I'm taking like, uh, all elective. I think I take a math class, which sounds like fun actually. Writing papers and why a math problem is the way it is. That could be cool. That could be really fun. Um, and then I get to take a social science and then elective of my choice. And I think I'm gonna do audio. That could be really cool. So I'm like, this is gonna be some fun quarters now. I'm like, my last two quarters, basically. Well, that's why the, once you get towards the end, it gets funner because you're doing all the, all the big stuff. And... All the big stuff is done, yeah. Which I think is crazy though. Like June eighteenth, I will officially finish my junior semester, which means that in September twentieth we go back. Which I feel like that's a long gap, but September twentieth I will officially be in my senior semester of college. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> what happened for two years? Where did you go? Okay. I know. And then, so the good news, you kind of already know that Curry asked you when you were sitting but out there. But they all don't know what happened. Yeah, I haven't really talked about it very much, um, because he hasn't really gone public with me yet. We're going to, though. It'll be a fun day. So, my boyfriend and I, we have, we have talked about marriage and kids, and, you know, we're eight months? Nine months. Eight months. November to now. I don't know how many months that is. I got my head away. Six months. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought seven. Six months into our relationship, which is, you know, half a year. That's great. 
Yes. Um, and so we've been like online dating, like quarantine dating, essentially, for six months now, since the week before Thanksgiving. And it's been great to be our mega match in heaven. I love him so much. But we have been discussing wedding plans and like what we env- what we envision for our future. So today, I asked Sammy if she'd be my unofficial yet official bridesmaid. Woo woo! Of course I will. <laughs> it's like official because like I plan on getting married to this man, but unofficial because I don't know when it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's official because you were having it. It's mm-hmm. unofficial because who knows when it's not gonna happen. It could be. It could be next month. It could be next year. It could be in ten years. It could be tomorrow, <laughs> you know. Maybe. <laughs> Don't see that happening, but maybe. <laughs> so you know, it's like she's the unofficial yet unofficial first bridesmaid. My mom is my my maid of honor. Absolutely. I feel like only she could handle me as a maid of honor. <laughs> the, the the job that the maid honor the maid of honor needs to carry, I feel like only older can handle. <laughs> she's been doing that with now for almost twenty years. Um, then I'm going to ask my friend Brooke to be a maid of honor, my aunt Lynn Dean to be a maid of honor, and to cook my wedding cake. And I'm also going to think about asking my friend Matt to be a maid of honor. That would be a good setup. Terry, who's my stepdad, is walking down the aisle. My kids are going to be in the wedding, too. Yeah. And the uh, ring bearer and the flower girl. I want Ooh. Elizabeth as, my, as the flower girl. Hopefully she can... Hopefully she's at almost age at the point where she can understand that concept. Cause it could you know, cause mom, mom has this this mother instinct that tells her that I'm gonna be engaged by the end of this year. I'm like, really? And she goes, yeah. She goes, I don't know why. My mom from Southern England, you're gonna get engaged quicker than you think. I'm like, I'm not complaining. The question's gonna pop, and you're not gonna. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> I am. Not I mean, g- you are ready for it, but you won't be yeah. ready for that. <laughs> um. And so hopefully. You know, of course, I think you will, will all help Elizabeth learn how to Absolutely. throw the flowers. And I'm going to ask RJ officially whenever I see him next, uh, to, if he wants to, if he wants to be the unofficial but official ring bearer. I'm sure he'll say yes. I'm sure he'd love it because he loves you. <laughs> um, I mean, really, he wants to come on and ask you a whole bunch of questions. Yeah, I've talked to my manager about that, so I'll need to talk more about that and what you need to sign if you if you're okay with him being on the internet. Totally okay with it. Um, he's on the internet anyway playing his online games so yeah and so you mean that's always exciting you know yes it is woohoo my stomach is making noises I think your stomach wants to eat probably it's not up, it's not used to being up this early so you know I guess that's always great news when someone says they're about ready to get married it's like woo well, you didn't tell them, but show me that he said you are the one who's married. Yes, not- I was talking to him. I can even I can even show receipts on my phone of it happening. So I don't delete my text from him. He's the only one I don't delete text from. Uh, we have like a scroll though. Chat. <laughs> um, well, because last night I was goofy. We were talking about <laughs> stuff, <laughs> and um, I made a joke saying I can just see our first date being very inappropriate. And he was like, No, 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 third date, third date. And I'm like, What? Coming from him shocked me, and mom's like, Yes! <laughs> and so then I was kind of goofing off, and he was like, You know, like, you know, he was like, No, 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 seriously. Baby girl, seriously. You're it for me. This is it. I'm marrying you. I'm, you're getting pregnant with my kid. This is it. I want to. And I'm like, Huh? Huh? <laughs> so you for a loop for a second. Yeah, because like, I'm being silly and goofy, being like, Oh, we're going to do him first date. <laughs> being stupid. And it's having fun, and he's like, no, 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 no. No, listen up. This is it. You're mine. <laughs> One and only, but that's it. Every other man can back off, because you're mine. That's why, that's why he always asks me, every day he asks me if I'm wearing the lock, the lock necklace or the ring, because he needs people to know that I am taken. And he's like, no, 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 You. You don't understand this, sweetie. Yeah. I have this in my head. You were it. You're my one. And so, my, 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 I told my mom, I'm like, well, I think Mark just, I, in his own little way, asked me to marry him, or they confirmed I was done with marrying him. Because he was probably looking for an answer, but I'm like, oh, yeah, same man. And she was like, oh, what? I'm like, okay, we're not actually getting married. But, you know. It's out there. No. He, he's made the official nugget in my head. And I'm, and I'm like, I, uh, uh, I haven't even thought about tomorrow, let alone that. 
Well, I got to. Yeah, so mom and I were talking last night about like how to do a wedding. I'm like all that kind of stuff. So do you mean it, 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 that's <sighs> that's something that's happening. Yes. So we love that. You have people behind you helping with that wedding. When it gets to that point. I have a bunch of people behind me on that wedding. Because everyone else I know who would be at the wedding has had a wedding. <laughs> oh, really? I've never had a wedding. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, I could yeah, say, right. I could believe you if I wasn't there. I could believe it if there's not proof that it happened. <laughs> My son could say, I could believe you, but I was there, Mommy. Remember? It's like, you don't remember. You should have been told it. But... <laughs> This picture is of you pregnant. Well, you're not pregnant. That's that's what like you can't even tell I'm pregnant under my wedding dress. I'm like, yeah, I'll show my mom some wedding dresses, and she was like, "Really?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, I want it so white, it's pink." <laughs> but we've seen so many different little things, and it, it it was just like a little moment, and it wasn't like huge. They're just asking me, right? It was just putting it out there that you know, just bringing it up. That it's gonna happen at some point. Yeah. It's kind of letting me know that, like, he's in this for the long game. Yeah. He's not one of those, okay, we're done, I'm out. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I ain't complaining about I'm that I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Been there, thought that already. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. I told Samantha, I think her and her husband should renew their vows. It's been 11 years. It's been over a decade. Yeah, but. That's crazy. <laughs> that face is like, I don't know. I don't know, I think so. <laughs> that mixture of like, I love him, but like, uh... and I, I always tell people that, like, I told my mom that her and Carrie should renew their vows. And she was like, maybe, but that's kind of expensive. I'm like, forget about the money, just just, just do it. Now you can't forget about the money, that's the whole problem. Money controls the world. Oh, it's not a sad sentence to say. I know, but it's the truth. <laughs> you can't do anything if you don't have money. That's just a sad sentence. <laughs> Asking my husband's gonna be alive when I'm older. When I'm like grandparents' age, you know. Mm-hmm. When I'm ninety, what my kids gonna be paying? Whew. Maybe mm. it'll all calm that down and they'll be back. Doubt it, but maybe. Let's do a full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will invent something to make everything better. Big bed. There's probably something out there that could be invented, but it's not going to be me inventing it. <laughs> not me either. Well, I can't say that. Never say never. Oh, I can't. It's not me. <laughs> uh, I've already made two things, and that kind of fills my lungs. <laughs> Did you find out how you made them? Do you have help? Okay, it was a partnership to make them, but still, they were made. I mean, your stomach did most, your body did most of it. <laughs> Your body did most of the work. But a content creator, like, you don't know who Colleen Bell is. Just be real. No, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. Three years ago, she had her baby boy, Flynn. He's three. <laughs> that's the easiest way of saying that. Uh, and she went you know, through a horrible pregnancy. She had cholestasis, which is where her liver leaks bile into the bloodstream and can kill the baby and cause induced labor. Early. So she had the baby a month early. She supposed to be a Christmas baby, and he was a Thanksgiving baby. So, you know, she swore off pregnancy because she just, it was miserable for her. It was an easy birth. You know, one, two, three, he was out. But pregnancy for her was hell. So she swore to get pregnant again. So at the beginning of this year, Colleen goes through a miscarriage. Goes through. Then we get an announcement. Colleen's pregnant. What? She swore off pregnancy. She's pregnant. She goes on this camping trip and she starts having the same symptoms she had when she had a miscarriage. She's freaked out, of course. Goes to her nearest hospital, going in to expect that she has no kids. They're both having twins. Wow. I'm sorry. They had a bad one. The first time was just one. I hope you're okay with them too. She said that because she was wondering why it was 10 times worse for her first trimester. And the fact that she's already having like the intense nausea, the intense like pelvic pain, like the intense pressures and like feelings she's having. Like for one child, this was steadily grown over nine months with Flynn. Why is this almost immediate? Like this one, like is my body not fully healed? It's been three years. Like something has got to, you know, be fixed. And so when she started, her, when she was having the camp with her family, she was like on camera, like, crying, thinking that she's gonna have a miscarriage and like her body could not handle children. So she goes into this hospital thinking, I'm done. 
I have no kids. I've been talking about like I I have told everyone I'm getting pregnant and I have to now leave home. I'm you know this is over, and she has two kids. Yeah, <laughs> and she's happy, and I'm like, you put how can you go in? <laughs> can you just imagine the emotional train? No kid, no kid, two kids. It's all gone. It's all gone. Oh my god! Now it's double. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna have three kids to deal with, and three kids to oh my gosh, two in diapers, and one that's a game by a train. And another. Then she had to tell her she had to go back home and tell all her family that it's twins. So yeah, the mother's reaction was priceless. And I was like, I can't imagine having having to birth two children. One child sounds scary. From my perspective, it's nothing. Like, yeah, for you, pregnancy seems kind of easy. But you couldn't even tell I was pregnant. Oh, no, something you had. You could have. Any I didn't have any. Like, no cravings, no weird. I might have cravings, but I crave weird things by myself. <laughs> so being pregnant had nothing to do with it. Like, There's a rainbow on my ceiling. Yes, there is. I love that. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess you never looked like you were really big and pregnant. Yeah, I never was. No one ever believed me I was pregnant. Then, oh look, you were pregnant. I'm nice the kid to prove it. Yeah, I totally making that up. Well, people think I'm making up a lot of things, like that I have multiple sclerosis. Because you're definitely not a. That I'm disabled. Uh, that you're because you're definitely not like the stereotypical like picture of what it looks like. Yeah, I don't let it get me. I was in a wheelchair for six months. That was long enough for me. <laughs> that was way too long for me, actually. But it was six months too long. That's right. Yeah, it's hard enough. Some people, some people don't believe that I had issues as a kid. I know because of my grades. Now I'm like, it was not an easy journey. Mm-hmm. It did not happen overnight, people. Maybe it's just kidding. Uh, I know it did. <laughs> just kidding. Only that's how the world or how it worked. How seizures makes you smarter. Ooh, what's that be wonderful? Hmm? Induced seizures make you speak smarter. No, yeah, that'd be horrible. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be just horrible. I can't believe I just said that. It's just the image of that. Because, like, you think about grandma who's a genius. It's like, ooh. <laughs> what do they do to her? Yeah. What did they do to her when she was a kid? Because by the time she was three, she was getting above college material. So she by the time she was doing it when she got out of the womb, she was having well, like. She was in the womb, they were doing seizures to her. I thought that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Well, because like you and I, because you know you're a blue, blue, you're above average. I'd say. That's what I've been told. You're above average. I mean, I mean, I've never been tested, but that's what I've been told. I would say you're pretty smart. Um, and so I don't think you've. I don't think you're classified as a genius. I wouldn't say I was a genius. I don't know. You guys don't. Uh, and I mean, I Cormac's school was above average. They got the above average award, but I don't believe it. I still think they got it wrong. I'm still like, are you sure? You sure that's the right name? Because you had a great point average. I have my GPAs yeah. higher. Sorry, guys. Discord's going crazy. I'm part of like five different discords. So it's going crazy. Um, And it was like, really? I'm going to it? Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to deny it, but I don't know where you got it from. <laughs> yeah. You sure got the right brand of right in here? Like, what? But, yeah, if that happens. I was thinking of like Big Grandma and like, or like one Dean, who are both, you know, just pretty smart people. I'm not sure if one means genius, but I think she's borderlining it. And Grandma was a certified genius. She still is a certified genius. And I'm like, if that... Ooh. <laughs> That'd be like, before she was even, you know, fully developed, she was seizuring. Why well, she was still an egg. She was seizuring. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> okay, that's just not right to think about. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That would work for the average person that came out somewhere in like the low to medium end and then kind of grew but people come out smart yeah <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute i can imagine being a parent of that like being a parent and seeing your three-year-old read college material and understand it watching your kid be smarter than you it's like what um uh, <laughs> how i think that might be my husband right now my son keeps teaching him things and he's like i feel like Elizabeth's gonna teach rj things too yeah, I have a feeling she's gonna be a a smart kid, smart cookie, above average student yes. or more. Yeah, mom has a gut feeling she's gonna be borderline genius. She might be. She is really good at for her age. She's pretty advanced. I mean, have you sat with her today? She no. doesn't stop talking. But doesn't wait here. Doesn't that? Yeah. Oh, she actually carried a conversation. 
I think every kid at her age starts trying. Not just babble. Like, she sounds like she's actually having trying. a conversation. It's like, whoa. You're trying to enunciate your word. You got it, girl. Come on. I know the day when she figured out how to blow the whistle, I was like, yeah! <laughs> I realized what was wrong. She had the whistle too far air hole her. in her mouth, so blow it, it doesn't do anything. You can't hear I told her too far, and she pulled out. There it went. I was like, yeah! I can do the work! Yes! <laughs> Yeah. So that's Small like, accomplishments make the happiest things. Yeah. Totally. Well, I did plan things for us to talk about, but, you know. We already took over half an hour doing nothing. <laughs> that's how we do. That's why they run months us. We ramble on. And- so I've been listening to a couple of different podcasts, a new podcast called All Things Internet. And I like the way that they talk. Kind of like it's like three topics that they don't research or anything on. They just kind of talk about, and it's a generalized headline to see how they feel. So I figured I found some headlines and I'm like, yeah, my mom says she thinks she's wondering if I'm allergic to something because I'm getting rashes on my arm. Um, random things that happened that I know some facts about because you know, it's the internet and you know facts about it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I kind of want to see your opinion on it because okay. as a, some of you might also love these things. So the biggest one that, uh, well, actually, let's go with the small one that I heard from my mom through the news and since you and I are both pretty much or essentially school overs. I'm not sure if you've heard this because you have now two kids in school. A kid in school. So the two kids in school. But you kind of going to the SATs. Yeah, I didn't hear that, but... They're saying that it's, like, they don't think it's fair to grade people on the SAT standpoint because even smart kids are not passing. You know what? I agree with that because the SAT, you get more stressed out studying for it and trying to pass it. So you kind of fail, essentially, because they put this big test on you. you. So you're in. not gonna pass very well. I mean, my son's great, and like, but you put him in a math a test, it's like yeah, you'll tell him to you test. lose it, and yeah, yeah, it happens yeah. to everybody. So yeah, but I think that'd be a good idea to get rid of it, not judge people. Yeah. On, you have to have that to, to get something yeah. good to happen. Yeah, I, I, and to me, it's then how they're gonna mark if students are uh, able to. I mean, I guess there's no student left behind, but still, I feel like there has to be something to kind of qualify people for universities. For the higher end colleges that do need a test score above a certain average to accept you, there has to be something there for them. Yeah, I see that too. But I just feel like Gonzaga, Yale, who need those scores to say where you can be placed at or you can be even accepted, they need the SAT for their rules. For people like me who went to a community college, yeah, it doesn't matter. But for those who actually go to like universities and Harvards and elite schools, they need that, those scores. Those scores are their future. Yes. So it's kind of the guy that, like, maybe the colleges need to, universities need to adapt their test. To yeah, take when you the go college in. test. That's what you call it. The college test. Yeah, instead of See high school. See where you sit in college. Instead of high school. Well, because I was homeschooled, uh, okay, Elizabeth. <laughs> so, because I was, a, I was homeschooled, I took, like, a homeschooled version of the SAT. Uh-huh. Somehow I passed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I've heard that I don't know how true it is or if it's just in our neck of the woods if it's everywhere I'm not sure if this is a global thing a Washington thing a Spokane thing yeah I don't know I hadn't heard it until you just brought it up so. but apparently the SATs are trying to be removed some of the MSPs the fossil they're all trying to get removed and I'm like y'all need this to a certain extent because you guys need to see where students are sitting well you can do a test you don't have to have it in your like you don't get this, you're thing. done. Yeah, the big thing that defines your entire school life. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sure Archie would love that. You hear that? It's all done. You're good. <laughs> I just, I, and I, I'm like, okay, for the average Billy Bob Joe who goes to, you know, the school down the street, sure. But for people who want to go to, like, these elite colleges, that number and that test is literally their entire life right there. That sets them up for what yeah. they're going to be so there's got to be a, like a, a medium balance there. I, mean, I did take the SAT and the ACT and all that fun stuff. <laughs> there's got to be a balance somewhere. So colleges, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, districts. Jesus. Uh, so moving on to something that maybe not so, maybe not as light-hearted. <laughs> You're not. This kind of blew up the internet for a little while. Because a lot of people, different people have different opinions on it. Some people say that they did nothing wrong. Some people, especially as dog lovers, say that they don't deserve to have pets at all. So, there is this game on YouTube. Mm-hmm. 
they have had a bull terrier for I think they said nine years. Um, the dog never went through training. The dog never had any kind of proper training done to learn. And they even knew that the dog could, was a little bit aggressive, a little bit on edge, uh, had a past childhood. Before they got him, he was traumatized and wasn't trained right. And the owners knew that this family never did anything to take care of them. Then they have a child. This child, of course, was not trained how to handle a dog that's a little bit aggressive, a little bit protective of his own food. Dog wasn't trained how to handle a child. The dog finally, so after, they admitted after time of the child bugging and essentially annoying this uh-huh. dog, the dog started to growl, started to show, hey, stop. This, 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 I don't like. Do anybody do anything about it? Of course not. No. Dog finally nips the boy on the cheek. Again, you look at the dog, you look at the kid in the video, you can't even talk about it. Touched. The dog gets beat down to sleep because he nipped. I think that's going too far. They said there was no lower options for the, for the dog. He was deserving of it, and they put him to sleep at nine years old. I don't Because agree. he was aggressive. And then, after this video, and all this proof of what's gone on, they went to pity for the internet by doing a photo shoot with the dog before it died, cuddling its dog. Cuddling. The son and the dog in the, in the in pictures they used were cuddling. Looking at, the, the dog was licking him. And the dog's apparently such a mean, aggressive dog that he needs to be sick immediately. And they asked for pity from the internet, and so the internet said, screw you guys, you're terrible owners. Even YouTube got involved. I was like, whoa, you cannot promote this kind of stuff. You cannot show that. For You have no medical reasons to be sharing this. And some people are saying that dogs who are aggressive don't deserve to live. There are people out there who are thinking like that. But a lot of dog owners are like, that is disgusting. That is messed up. Yeah. I mean. You could have rehomed anything. Yeah, and train your dog. I'm trying to teach this to my husband. You need to train your dog. Mm-hmm. To and then train your kid. Yeah. I mean, I told my son, when he was a little younger, we had a dog. So if you torment the dog, he's going to come after you, and he's not going to get in trouble if he scratches you. Or... Mm-hmm. And he said, but mom, like, no. Leave the dog alone, he'll leave you alone. I mean, it goes both ways. It's love him, he'll love you. Yeah. So my son learned how to be around animals because of that. I'm, like, I'm not going to feel pity because... You did something stupid and the dog tried to pay for it. Yeah. And as soon as Elizabeth, she'll learn as well how to yes. handle pets. And I mean, Max is a bit aggressive towards males specifically. But we're not going to put him down. We work with him. We tell people before they come in our home, hey, he has a lot of strangers. We're going to take these precautions to help you and Max get along. We're going to help so Max gets to understand you and you guys can, you know, vibe before you know, things do go sour. And most people are, appreciate that. And we have, we know how to control Max and how to... Make it so it's not too bad. Yeah, and we're training him more and more and more to be okay with people. And a lot of people, he's totally fine with. I know when my boyfriend comes home for the first time, it's going to be that same process of getting Max comfortable because Max, unfortunately, was... I don't know what happened to Max when he was younger, but he definitely does not like the male species. I'm thinking some male did stuff to his dad where he saw half of the palm or something. Like that. No, bad. I'm not sure. I mean, I know you guys had Max for a little while. But I know you bought them through another person. I'm not going to name names. But I'm not, and I'm not sure how they took care of dogs. If at all. I don't know. Not my place to think, you know. Yes. But Max definitely has a thing against some people. And there are some people, we don't care what procedures we take, he doesn't like them. The dog, I'm... In my head, whatever you want to say, mm-hmm. I think dogs can read Why? attitudes and yeah. the inside of people, so they know how you're going to be without you even being there. Yeah. He doesn't like our landlord. <laughs> we don't care what procedures we take, he does not like our landlord. But, you know, he learned to like Ron. He learned to like Bo. He's learned to like Tim, somehow. He learned, he's going to learn like, like he's Bo at some point. That's not a question. He learned to like Brooke. So it's like, it, we just have to take a couple of, we have to take a little bit of time before you really start moving around a lot in our house. I gotta say, I'm not so sure if he likes me and Elizabeth. He mauls us every time we show up. Oh, he mauls us with love, not with hate, and wants to hurt us. That's right. He gets excited to see you. Though. I know. He, lo- he loves you, but he sees a little girl on top of you, and he's like, <gasps> yes! I remember yeah. you when you were an infant. I protected you. He still does. Yeah. We next are like she's his. And it's funny is because we've never trained Max to be around kids. I was the the youngest thing he's ever around. 
So the fact that, that he's so gentle and understanding with Elizabeth is like, yes. yes. I can bring up the little kids around me. It'll be okay. <laughs> I'm okay with you being mad a couple male species for that. Leo likes everybody. He's, I don't know, he spends time with dogs. He just loves everybody. He's that happy go lucky guy. He always sees the best in everything. I don't think, he, and I don't think he's very talkative. If, if Max was in a growler and a barker, I'm not sure how much Leo would be a barker. Yeah, our dog barks because the dog across the street barks, or our neighbor dog barks. Like, he doesn't bring it on himself. No yeah. offense. It's, I feel like that's Leo. I feel like Leo's getting more and more barky because he's learning from Max. But I blame Max for his barkiness because he never really was in the beginning. So I'm like, I think it's you, mister. <laughs> it is. So that happened. Yes. Um. So there's a lot of different opinions. So I was saying, as a, as a dog lover, and as somebody who's, I'm not sure how aggressive Hercules once was, if at all. I don't think Hercules ever really got aggressive. I mean, he'd go and do something and he knew my voice and say his name and he'd be like, <gasps> You saw that? I'm done. I'm done. No, no, no. Like, yeah. Is Rex aggressive towards anybody? Yet? Not really aggressive. He's really a lover too, but he yeah. likes to go outside and bark at everything. Everything that moves. And I've, I've, that's what dogs do, so I can't get mad at him. Like, once I have been around Rex enough to hold him. He really does sort of have the body of, like, wow, okay. This body is, like, Hercules, but, like, you're not Hercy. No, he's a palm cheese, so he's not full Pomeranian, because he has a chihuahua in him. But they do kind of look alike, yeah. Yeah, the body and the the, 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 the energy is very similar. The mannerisms they do. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. Uh, it's kind of like how I always see, uh, when I see the hoodies at shoes, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Izzy. I mean, it's not Izzy, but it's Izzy. I know, every time I think, that's a pomeranian. Oh, there's a pomeranian. Did you just them because you've had them? Yeah. Sometimes I'm, that's Leo! He's in back. Ugh, I miss those girl. That was such a sad day. Give him that phone call. Oh, gosh. Childhood ruined. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's, uh. Mm-hmm. That is what it is. Yeah. It's unfortunate the dog had to die. Like, you could have rehomed, you could have a shelter. Trained it, trained a child, but they kill it. Yeah, I'm with you. Dog doesn't deserve to go because people can't do what needs to be done. Teach the child not to be mean to the dog. Yeah. Teach the dog to love the child. You know, things yeah. can happen. And yeah. we're doing that with our dog. We get them close to each other. It's like, okay, be nice, be nice. Yeah. What kind of dogs are not supposed to like each other? Yeah, our cat and dog don't. Hercules. Love that cat. Rex. Doesn't really care. Totally different cat, of course, too, but... Yeah. Aren't you was around when Tiger was around? I couldn't remember because we had Cuddles, which was the cat before that. And Pinky. And Pinky was at our house for a while. And... I know. All my animals keep dying. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what happens to all living things. I know. In the end, they all died. Unfortunately. Mm, some sooner than others. Some before they should go, but okay. we can't control that. Yeah. Uh, so the, you know, that kind of broke the internet a little bit. <laughs> that was kind of a, a moment in time that happened, and everyone was like, you guys suck. Yeah. But you know what? Everyone has their own opinion about everything. So. Oh. Uh-huh. You can say that again. Everyone has their own opinion about everything. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Oh, I thought that's something really cool. You can, or something that I saw of you know, a lot of, of podcasters, lots of them, uh, that a lot of podcasters do is so they look up what national holiday it is, uh-huh. like what today is about. So today you're watching this. It is the twenty third. So May twenty third holiday. So let's see what's going on today. It is World Turtle Day. Woo! Let's all go out and get a turtle. No, not really. Just because turtle didn't mean you have to go buy a ticket. Yeah. Also, the day we're recording this is our grandfather's birthday. Whoop whoop. He's 86 years old. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that man was supposed to live past the age of seven. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Anything else? No. Wasn't a very uneventful day on the 23rd of May. Mm-hmm. Only not as 
created for the American Tortoise Rescue to protect turtles. Well, that's nice. They're protecting the turtles. So, guys, go protect the turtles. Don't use plastic. Cut up your can. Yeah. Whatever those are. <laughs> Rings. <laughs> Let's see. What else is going on on the internet right now that is weird? Donald Trump officially has a Twitch account. Oh, they let him back in? I don't know. I heard it from somebody else. Yeah. That someone looked up his name on Twitch as a joke and they found an actual account. I know, but is it just someone using that name or is it the actual him? Yeah, yeah like, that's that's a big thing too. Like, um, <laughs> what? He caused too much thing. I don't know how they'd let him back in. Maybe they didn't care. But no. There are rumors that after the four years, he's coming back. That's what I've heard, but I don't think he can. I don't know how that works. I'm not a politician. I've heard from somebody I don't think he can run again, but you know what? It's up in the air. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, he's sticking out the back. I don't brush it today. No, I don't brush it until Sunday. Okay. Every Sunday I brush my hair. I know it sounds really weird, but... I brush mine every day, and I comb my little girl's hair every day. I used to brush it every day, but I don't know why. Because knots suck, and if you don't do it every day, they get worse. But, yeah, knots. Not <laughs> cool. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of like, what else happened on the internet that might have in last. Like, this for me, like, a lot of video games can happen. Like, Dead by Daylight released a new update, so a new character is out. Like, for me, that's exciting. But for you, that's like. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and? How does this affect me? <laughs> um, does your son play Dead by Daylight? To your knowledge? No. I think he'd like it. I don't know. He probably would. If he liked, if he liked, um, wow, if he likes killer games <laughs> or survival games, he got a game that he really liked that I bought for him. I don't even remember what it was now. I said, I know it's something Saints and Sinners. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the first part of it. Something Saints and Sinners. But... <sighs> I, I found some new content creators that I like. Lots of awesome things. Yeah. Dad Black. It's hilarious. It's actually funny. <sighs> you sound like you're ready to go back to bed. <sighs> huh. You've only been up for an hour, maybe. Just. <laughs> maybe not that long, but maybe that a little longer. I don't know. I would say just about just about an hour. Um. Also, there is like a rumor. This is not a fact, but there is rumors uh, about a rocket that was released from China. I saw that. They don't. They say that it said it crashed in the ocean. I'm like, did something really happen? Like, cause it, how did it? Cause they said it went all the way up in space, and then came back. And apparently, it was supposed to, you know, crash the entire Earth, and it was going to be the end of all of us. And then it landed in the ocean. I'm like, did anything really happen? Or it was just made up so people could get all freaked out, worked up over it. So, yeah. I mean, like, I know that we have issues with that side of the planet, and that part of the planet, but. Really? People like to make up things to make other people. It could have totally happened. I just like, I need some evidence here. Where's the receipts? No receipts. Oh, our Mary Mount's here. That's what I heard. <laughs> uh, any crazy new news that you've heard about that you're like, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Not that I can think of. Do you guys even really watch the news at your house? I do. Every day. You never really like, ooh, I care. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I hear my mom watch the news. I'm like, who actually I actually cares? do pay attention to the news. I don't like the news. We watch world news and then local news. Mm, I think that's my journalism class and the things I was told in that class. It's hard for me to believe the news anymore. Because you hear how fake it all is and mm -hmm. all that. And I'm like, 
I'm not sure who to believe anymore. <laughs> I guess I gotta take everything I know with a grain of salt and just kind of go with it. Also, apparently, and again, I don't believe this, I think this woman was just trying to get attention. Apparently, they're finding traces of zombie-like flesh on COVID vaccine people. There's yeah, two reported cases of two of women's of, of these two women's legs turning into a zombie-like flesh. And I'm like, is that the vaccine or health condition? Yeah, exactly. Like we cannot just assume. Like where where are the dots connected? Was she sitting in the pharmacy getting the shot as her leg flipped, or is this like, you know, she's dead and now you're seeing it? Yeah, like how? Uh, where's my pause button? Okay, we back. Hi. We're gonna take a quick little like five minute break. Nine yep. five minutes. Did you hear about the friend, the TV show Friends reunion? I think I heard of it a little bit, but they've been rumoring it for ever. But finally, May twenty seventh, they're streaming on HBO Max. They're gonna wow. be a whole sit down and going over like some of my favorite moments. And That's cool. Seeing the set again after all of yeah, these years. Yeah, what you have some Did you ever like the show Friends? I like? love the show Friends. I used I, to watch it every time it was on. I became obsessed with it back like about a couple of years ago, and apparently May twenty seventh on HBO Max, it's gonna be a whole huge sit down with the whole cast, and I'm like, finally. Y'all have been talking about this for decades. Yes. We talk about this forever. Now they're finally going to get it done. I love it. Yeah. So I'm definitely tuning into that for sure to see kind of how long he was. I love Matt LeBlanc. I love Mary LeBlanc and all of that. So it's going to be kind of cool to see. It will be. All of them together now as they're old and wrinkly. <laughs> I don't think they're wrinkly. But maybe. They are pretty old. Doesn't mean they have to be wrinkly. I've seen pictures of these guys. Okay. Woo! Okay, I actually saw it on my on my Google feed. I mean, that's Chandler Bing now. Yeah, you're not too wrinkly. Bing! Oh my god. <laughs> what? I these know. dogs, birds, and squirrels are suffering. Stuffing their faces with broad X cetus due to eating bees. The dog is eating a bee. The dog is eating a bee. I've seen dogs eat bees and get stung in their mouth. But... So, my, my uncle's dog, he, uh, the husky, he got uh, his face rolled up. But apparently, they're going some kind of disease. Is it your uncle's dog or is it the cousin's dog? Okay. The husky was initially your brother's idea, but the dog is attached to Scott. Okay. Just thought of that. So, yeah. Let's see. Jeopardy announces an unstoppable tournament of champions. That show is still going. Yes. Did you hear that Ellen show is getting canceled? I heard she was walking away. Because of all the crap that's been going on about her. I didn't know why, but I heard it. Because there's a lot of sexual allegations about her, how mean she truly is to all of her guests, that all the employees are mistreated and there's sexual harassment going on and other forms of that going around. And so finally, Ellen's had so much boggle and the show has lost its spark anyways. It's kind of very repetitive. They just said, well, you're done. I'm like, wow. Let's see what else is going on in this world. You can now buy, you can now download free printable, printable Mother's Day flowers. Okay. If you have a 3D printer. Yeah. That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> That's anime. Prince Harry reclaims on mental health only exposes his... Uh-huh. Hospitality? It's pussy. Yeah. Sure, that's, it has like half of a house. That's not a word. <laughs> I don't follow that family. In un- unpredictable speed, scientists figure out how many wild birds live on the planet. I wondered that myself. 
how birds have survived for so many years. I wonder how many birds have been like in like plane crashes. Yeah, that makes sense. Like how many birds have flown and then run into a plane? <laughs> Hit and run. How many? How many uh, dead birds have pilots thrown into like? Yeah. I think that was a bird co pilot. <laughs> I think we hit a bird. The weirdest sex chromosome system to science. These little creatures, they look like rats. Kind of does. Like a gerbil rat. I was going to say, a gerbil. I was totally going to say that. Apparently, these baby. Oh, this is an animal. When it comes to dividing animal among the long sex lines, evolution is known for getting creative. The chromosomes that come in baby making function have been rebound blah 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 blah. What is it what is a creature? That's all I care about. I don't know what creature looks like, I just wanna know the name of it. Y chromosome Y chromosome. I like how they have the names of mammals. No, what are you? This is a common role. V O V O L E. Role like a mole. Cute as a creepy vole, but not as weird. V O L E. Wait, what is a vole? Oh, it's just some like weird native thing. Voles are small rollers that are relatives of lemmy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> lemmings and hamsters. Ah, but with stouter body, awesome. A shorter, hairy tail, and slightly rounder head. <laughs> wow. Okay, sure. My friend loves rats. She's obsessed with rats. Some of them are really smart creatures, some of them are lovable creatures, and I can't unsee the creepiness of them. I mean, no get people who like rats, it's just, I just I can't see the, the, the cuteness in them. I own a gerbil? Um, gender? The most rodent thing I've ever owned was a dog. <laughs> it was given to us, and <laughs> I'm saying <thinking. laughs> The most thing I've ever owned was a dog. The most important thing I ever owned was my husband. Oh, I don't own him. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I sang that song the other day. Um, I don't own you, you don't own me. Mm -hmm. My son goes, but you do own me. It's like, not really. Mm -hmm. I don't own you. I mean, it costs a lot of money to lose you, but. It'd kill me to not have you, but I mean. <laughs> Let's see. Husband of Mara Lovely Warren is arrested in Rochester, New York. Husband of Mayor Lovely Warren is arrested. Is she uh, mayor of New York or something? No, I don't think so. Oh, did you hear about the whole jail thing that's going on? There are people, there are private cells, and they are doing a whole test about having that removed. Um, because people are staying, because there's certain like laws about how many prisoners a prison can have to make it a legal prison and all of that. So people are staying beyond their sentences or they are not even supposed to be, like, be in prison. It's supposed to be like a 24-hour sentence and they're being stuck there for weeks at a time to meet guidelines. And so they're trying to make private cells and this whole new system to change prisons. This won't be in the full effect and properly executed until 2020, probably 2029. Wow. Because it's going to take years for the system to change. No, I had not heard of that. I heard it through Rachel Ballinger. Who heard it from some source on the internet? <laughs> Somewhere she heard it and she bought she on her podcast with her mom. And I'm like, how is that gonna work? I didn't even know that's how prisons work, but me either. What? So private cells oh wait, what? Ooh. This is our ocean somewhere in the world. That's a lot of crud sitting in the ocean. Yeah. Is recycling a waste? Here's the answer from the classic experts before you ditch the effort. Huh. Jeopardy. Alex Trebek once listed the three presidents 
she like to see complete the show. Huh? You want presents to compete on the show? Hmm. Huh. I I just I heard about that. Um. Ew. It's supposed to be a crystal. That looks like someone threw up. Hold on. Who are they eating? So it doesn't look like someone threw up. Looks like it's dead flesh. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. I watched a I watched a really a very disturbing video on the internet the other night. I didn't finish it. It was called My Strange Addiction. So it was on those the old shows. It was like a parody of the old show, but it actually was true. Um, a daughter documented her mother's obsession with eating vomit. Gross. Um, she documented it because she wanted to show the internet, like, my mm. mom has a strange addiction. Yeah, she enjoys the taste of vomit. I couldn't even think of eating vomit. That's gross. Ugh. <laughs> mm. And there's been just a lot of reports about coffee. How coffee is actually making people smarter. I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm so smart. Maybe <laughs> drinking coffee forever. There's some kind of report saying that there's a certain level of certain level of chemical in the bean. Maybe that's why I listen to the bean. She's been drinking my coffee too. <laughs> oh my gosh. That there's a certain chemical in the bean that if, if if done with the right chemical in the right person's body, it can have results to have to show better better brain function, but never to over drink it because it, your body can get used to that adrenaline. And I'm like, I don't drink coffee enough because it hurts my stomach. I don't get adrenaline for coffee. It doesn't keep me awake. It's doing anything. I just like coffee. I like it. I don't. I don't mind sugared like Starbucks coffee, but when it becomes black coffee, it's just like the aftertaste. The taste is fine, but the aftertaste. It's like my mouth needs water now. <laughs> for you, it's like yum. Ooh, is your back or is that my bed? I'm <laughs> I'm like, woo, that's a pop. I like your jeans. Thanks. My husband says these are my podcast jeans. You do wear them quite a bit when we go on podcasts. I was like, I don't wear them every week. He's like, yeah, you do. That's what they're for. You did for a little bit there. It's because that's what he said. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll walk. <laughs> also, guys, I wanted your guys' opinion. If we started to do a live podcast, would you guys be down for that? If I actually started recording us sitting and chilling and talking, because I found out more and more people actually enjoy Sweet. live podcasts. So would you be down for that? Or do you guys like being able to listen to this? Just the audio. We could upload both 100%, an, an audio version and a live version. That's totally, totally easy and capable for me to do. So um, let me guys, let me know. Let us know. What do you all think about that? That could be fun. Yeah. We can get nice and set up and they could see us being silly. Yeah. Instead of just hearing us. <laughs> yeah. So I think we can wrap this up with a question that I saw. That I figured you probably could both answer on. Okay. Yeah, we probably could both figure that out. And the question was asked Do you think it's true that if a, if a girl, boy or girl picks on you, they more than likely like you? Do you think that, that that statement is true? I personally think it's true. Why would they take time out of their day to pick on you if they didn't like you? Because everyone has haters. But even then, then they come out of their day to hate you. So obviously they have something for you. I mean, yeah. they have a feeling they either they like you or they really hate you. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Mark never picked on me. So. Well, not everyone who picks on when they like, but. You know. um, can I think of like when I was in elementary school? Yeah, like, like when you. My were... boyfriends I had, quote unquote boyfriends. Like when I had my first kiss, was Anthony always. No, Anthony was not always nice to me. It took him a while to like me. What would seem to be a while to like me. I think that there are some, maybe they want to be friends with you, or maybe they kind of get your attention, but they don't know how. I like being mean so easy, especially when you're a kid. Yes, yes. I don't know, do you never notice that RJ is mean to young girls who he claims he likes? You know, that's the funny thing. He's not mean to them. He goes and defends them against people who are mean to them. <laughs> like, there's a kid, a girl, not just a girl in the lower class. She gets picked on a lot, and he always is going and defending her, and mm-hmm. putting, sticking up for her. and He does it for everybody. Could be a kid in his class, he'll stick up for him. Could be me, he'll stick up. Like mm. he has, I told him the other day, he has such a big heart. Don't ever let anybody yeah. take it away from you. Don't yeah, defend yeah, keep that locked up. And your big heart is what is, makes you you. Don't let it go away. Yeah, they just were curious if we thought that that maybe that statement was true 
Like, do you think that they that people, who, especially younger kids, like are doing? I think when it's young kids, I think it is because they want your attention, but they don't want you to know that they like you. So and being mean, taking on you is so much easier. Yeah, it's easier. Everybody else does it, so you want the kid thing does it. Yeah, I think there is some truth to it, but definitely you gotta you gotta think about what they're saying. Yeah, they're just, just like how they're picking on you. Too. Yeah, if it's like I don't like your hair, then usually like, they love your hair. You have a stupid shirt on, you know. It's like thanks. <laughs> But they're actually like genuinely being mean of like you're an idiot and maybe it's yeah you're right it is on kind of how they pick on you. it's what they're picking on you for if it's just a basic kind of like those shoes are stupid just simply thanks <laughs> those shows are so last season I can't believe it <laughs> thanks but then it's like you are a fat dumb person and it's like okay that's too far chill but. Yeah. My Discord is going absolutely bonkers. Yes, it is. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this pod. Uh, let us know what, you, what, what topics you guys like to hear more about. Because we're obviously open to talk about anything, because we already do. Yes. Planning a podcast for us is almost pointless, because we never get back to topic. Never. <laughs> we can't stick on topic. Oops. <laughs> And yeah, we will see you guys. She'll see you guys next week. Next week. I'll see you guys later on today for a vlog and then again on Wednesday.